The Bulls have been on quite a run lately. We have to wonder if this run is over. If we're due for a rollover here. Want to take a look at how, uh, how you count these uptrends. This is counting if the low is greater than the low of the one. Or the high is greater than the high of one bar ago. And... This is the bullish condition. This is a bearish condition. So if you comment out, uh, comment this one out and add this one, then it will measure downtrends and give you the count on the downtrends. This is the easy language you can use. Very simple uh, resets if condition one is false, and then it plots it. So um, let's take a look here. We had this count started back here based on March 14th low. And... Then it made a higher high, so it makes a higher, higher, low, higher low. The count is on, and you can see pretty much every day is at higher highs, except on March the 23rd and on March the 30th. Those did have higher lows. Now today, it's still intraday, so the market has taken out the previous day's low. If it does not take out yesterday's high, this count is over. It will reset to zero, and this run-up will be um, will be will end. And so, how does this com compare to previous trends and uptrends? How does this count compare? We put a line right here. Uh, we have not seen this in all of 2022, all of 2021. And the last time we saw a count this high was back here in October of 2020. And what happened after that? Uh, big sell-off. What happened in October of or September of 2020 it had a big count of it got as high as 17. Here it got as high as 13. So we're at 12 now, and at 13 retraced almost all of it. Um, this started right here. So this count started right here, and on September the 2nd, 2020. It retraced it all. Uh, the count started here for the October count. Started on September the 24th, low of 10,631.75. It ran up through October the 13th, and it retraced not all of it, but quite a bit of it, almost all of it. So let's take a look at some additional uh, counts that are that run up here is one that this is now during the pandemic the market already sold off the Fed had a massive stimulus program and so you had a count of 10 it didn't sell off a count of 10 um, and it did sell off so you see when does this count start it started here and it sold off almost all the way to there this count was at 14 and it, it called a massive sell-off. That was a this is a pandemic, beginning of pandemic. So this may or may not be a sign of the market selling off, but the market is down, first quarter down. So the trend technically can be down right here, and it wouldn't be one. It wouldn't be a single reason to take a trade. Here is a run-up that in 2019, April of 2019, the count is 12. And it doesn't immediately sell off. It goes, this count starts, the count for this one starts right here. So it starts right here. And it goes all the way up to April the 12th, 12 count, 12 days. And then the sell off extends. It's almost twice as much. It starts here and then it sells off down to here. So the sell off is twice as much as the market rallies. And you have one here. The market sells off. But then it starts another one, and it sells off below this count. So two counts in a row are taken back when it runs up that much. And so let's look at some others. This is in 2017. Here's one. Here's a 12 count, big time sell off. So these 12 counts, above 10 counts, can call a decent pullback. So watch for that. It could be use that along with some other things that you might have. If you want to uh, take a short trade, uh, more of a discretionary short trade, here's an 18 count um, in 2017. 2017 was one of the low volatile drift up years and not much of a sell off after that 18 count. Um, here is a, an 11 count 
some a little bit of a pullback. Here is in June of 2016. Here is a 12 count, and it started right here. Sold all the way back. So, um, kind of made this video impromptu. I didn't think that uh, it would call this many this many uh, pullbacks and sell-offs, but it does. So. Um, last few years when the count gets that hot, when the market gets that hot, it can be extremely overbought. So, um, I mean, just look at the structure of this market. Markets, markets don't usually just trade like this and keep going. You see, uh, you see kind of a run up here and then it pulls back. It just, it's just not that, it just can't be that good. Typically, anything is possible in the markets and this could turn right around and run up to new highs in the same sort of pattern. Um, but typically things don't don't work out that well that smoothly that easily and so um, Something to watch for watch for pullbacks in the market watch for potential short trades now that we've had this massive run-up Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders We share our winning streaks. We share our losing streaks as well as market updates strategies and coding tips